these five picturesque villages are on many people's bucket list, rightfully so. They consist of Rio Maggiore, Manarola, Corniglia, Vernazza and Monterosso al Mare. Monterosso al Mare can be reached by car and has a decent sized car park right on the beach, but, and this is a big but, from the exit on Autostrada to that parking you will have to drive for at least 40 minutes on roads that resemble varicose veins and get more and more narrow the closer you get to Monterosso. A better alternative if you are arriving from the north is to take the exit to Sestrio Levante and then take the Cinque Terre express train that stops at every village. There is a decent car park right next to the train station and last time I checked the price was 7 euros per day. Keep in mind that all car parks mentioned in this video require an early arrival because they fill up very quickly. An added bonus of having Sestri Levante as your starting point is that you can walk to another Instagram friendly location that is Baia del Silencio. Most people will start their exploring of Cinque Terre in La Spezia. La Spezia is basically a large and important harbor in Italy. In these places you can almost always find good and cheap seafood. La Spezia does have a zona traffico limitato but is easily avoidable. The parking facilities are very limited. If your plan is to take the Cinque Terre Express train from La Spezia Centrale, you basically have one option, Parcheggio Centro Stazione. This multi-level underground car park has two entry points and is situated right by La Spezia Centrale. Needless to say, it gets full rather quickly and the price is currently 1.5 euros per hour between 8 o'clock in the morning and 8 o'clock in the evening. During the night, the price is 1 euro per hour. The train ride is not scenic because it goes mostly through tunnels. Tickets you can buy in the booth at La Spezia Centrale, at ticket machines and via Trenitalia app. Paper tickets must be stamped before boarding the train and the current price is 5 euros per person one way. A perhaps better alternative is to purchase the one day unlimited ticket which costs 18.2 euros per person. An alternative to taking the train is to take one of the boats from La Spezia to Cinque Terre. These obviously only operate when the weather permits and usually between March 25th and November 1st. Corniglia cannot be reached by boat since it doesn't have a harbor. Instead, you may stop at Porto Venere, which is also an Instagram friendly location. One day pass costs currently 40 euros per person and the boats can be used in an hop on hop off fashion. You can find a link to the timetable and pricing in the description below. If you have chosen this alternative, you can park beneath Piazza Europa and from here you will have a short and pleasant walk to the boats. Currently the maximum daily rate is 15 euros. If you found this somewhat useful, please like, share and subscribe.